Hiya, I'm Ni and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to be reviewing the new kits that just dropped. They literally just dropped yesterday. And the kits I'm talking about today are the Artist Studio Kit and the Storybook Nursery Kit. These were a bit of a weird one. I don't quite understand how they go together, but they do. <laughs> so we are going to be reviewing them today. And as usual, I will start by showing you guys everything that comes with the kits. So we are starting out with the Artist Studio Kit. I have to say this is 100% the one I was most excited for. I've always thought that we don't have enough kind of painting and in general artist stuff within The Sims 4 and we keep having to use the same base game kind of clutter pieces that we've had since the beginning of this game. So I was actually very very excited to get some more new stuff. And I have to say, I do a bit of art myself, so this was so, 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 so cool to see in the game. It was not that many things, it's like 24 items, it's the regular kit kind of size. I'm really excited about the new woodworking table though. I can't believe we got a new one and it looks so much better than the old one, like, the old one is gone now. I'm never gonna use it again. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, oh, also this statue, couldn't we get a woman's figure as well? Come on, Sims. Not happy about that. I'm gonna not be using that in strike, honestly, because I wanted a women's figure. But oh well, what can I do? I love the paint splatters. They're really, really cool. But yeah, I love the little like clutter pieces. This kind of drapery moment is also very cool. Overall, I think great items to be honest. Now moving along into the nursery kit. This one's a bit of a weird one. Like, I'm not too sure why we got a nursery kit, but I'm here for it. But at the same time, is this my favourite kind of style? Not really, to be completely honest, but I do still think they were really, really good pieces. They were very well done. Obviously, we know that Sixum was working on these pieces with the Seams team, so that is probably why they look so, so good. So if you guys don't know, Sixum is a very popular CC creator. He's very talented, and obviously you can see that with these pieces. They're really, really good. And they are completely something that we didn't have in the game, which I always say it's always a plus. If we don't have something like this in the game, it's definitely something that we needed. But still, it is a little bit themed. I feel like it's very themed, and that is why I'm not too sure how much I'm going to be able to use it in my day-to-day -day kind of <laughs> building. I love that teddy though and the little oh the little cats are so cute. I love that item. But there was definitely some more plain pieces like not pieces swatches. So I'm gonna try to use those swatches on my day-to-day -day building but we'll see. These were the 23 items that came with this kit. Right, moving along into the speed build portion, I always like to use all of the items that come with whatever kits I'm reviewing and use them just in the speed build to see how they would work when building with them. Probably just base game, but with this one, it was very much just this pack. Yeah, I wanted to build a little artist studio. Wow, <laughs> original, yeah, exactly. I wanted to build an artist studio. I wanted to build like almost like an industrial kind of looking place. That's why I used the industrial windows that we have from the Moschino pack. Yeah, weird one. But yeah, <laughs> I wanted to make this like very dark and moody because that's what I was feeling like in the moment. Also because the nursery pack is supposed to be very dark and moody and therefore I did not want to do that. So this one, the speed build for the Artist Studio pack had to be a bit more moody. So that is what I'm going for. I honestly was just trying to use every single piece in some sort of way in this build. And I just loved how it worked. It looks very realistic, which is always a plus for me. I love that ladder so much. That's one of my favorite pieces from this kit. I definitely recommend it just on that ladder alone, honestly. And this, oh, the woodworking table is so nice as well. And it works very well in games, so that is great. But yeah, this is a really short one, like a short and sweet one, but I loved how this turned out. So stay for the little tour.
For the nursery kit, I definitely didn't want to go with a really dark and moody theme because I felt like that was a little bit too obvious. That's obviously the whole theme behind this kit. So I wanted to do something just a little bit more classic and light. And with that in mind, I went for this kind of, it's almost like a lilac-y kind of swatch. It's not exactly that. It pairs really nice with like a beige, like wood undertone and some of the other furnishings, but it's almost like a really muted lilac slash pink kind of swatch. I thought it was very nice and it was definitely a bit more classy and demure. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, and that is what I went for. This is uh, absolutely adorable. I definitely had to shrink it a little because I thought it was just too much space for a nursery. I like that we did get a couple of pieces that are not just for like newborns. On this one, I definitely used the newborn furniture, furniture, but you can definitely use it for a toddler or even an infant, newborn, infant. Actually, this is the one for the infant. You can use it for a newborn as well. All of these life stages in The Sims confuse me a little bit, I have to be honest. But yeah, this was, once again, short and sweet, but I think it was just straight to the point and I really liked how it turned out. But yeah, we are almost at the end of the video, so thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know in comments if you're going to be purchasing any of these kits obviously leave your like and subscribe to the channel because that would really help me out a lot and again thank you for watching bye bye Ooh.